Good evening. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? Oh. I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? Very tired, but I'm here. Oh, that's the attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Friday and the body knows it. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, it's eight o'clock already. So it's the time to start our class. Okay. So the first of all, um, we have to, well, I have to take the attendance. So remember to say here or present with a very loud voice. Okay. So let's right. start. Let's see. We're going to start with Alba de Nora Vides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Alexander Rodas. Present. Carla Marisa Sanchez. Present. What is Carla? Ah, okay. Carlos Gualberto Rodriguez. Present. What is Carlos Gualberto? Okay. Cristina Roxana. Okay. Domingo Alexander. Present. Alex. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Jose Matias Lemus. Present, present. Karina Yamile Espinosa. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present, teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Maideli Judith. Nancy Lisa Rodriguez. Rocío Katia Maritza. Salvador Edgardo Escobar. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Present. Walter Daniel González Pérez. William Eduardo Pérez. Ok. Thank you for being here on time, guys. I really appreciate that. Entonces, ya me mencionó mi teacher. Nancy Lisa Rodriguez Escoto. Yes. Present. <laughs> Present. Perform an action. Carry out. Okay. Oh. We see more people connecting in this moment. For example, Cristina Roxana, Romero de Araujo. I'm sharing the screen. Can you see it? Yes. That's great. Cristina Roxana Romero. Present. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you, Cristina. Okay, guys. Let's see. Today is our class number two. We are still working in the unit one, company identity. And today you are going to learn how to use ING forms after prepositions, okay? 
So the specific objective is that students will be able to describe their department relates how their department relates to others in the organi organization. And the class objective by using verb plus ing forms after prepositions, students will describe how their department relates to others in their company. So we have the following activities. Oh, Walter Daniel, you're here. Walter Daniel Gonzalez. You have to say City. present. Okay. Rocio Maritza Martinez. Present teacher. Nice to meet you, Tokaya. My name is also Rocio. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay, Rocio, would you like to read the agenda, the activities that we have in our agenda today? Uh, okay. Please. Uh, Warm up a uh, adjective with nothing. Activity one, role play using verb ing uh, plus preposition. Activity two, my responsibilities and the company. Activity three, organizational chart. Activity four, creating an organizational chart. And activity five, run up forum discussion. Okay, yes. The last activity is the wrap up with a forum discussion. Okay, so let's start with the warm up. In this warm up, uh, we have some adjectives, but um, uh, you can see one adjective and it's opposite. For example, if I have the adjective responsible what's the opposite of responsible the opposite of responsible is responsible uh -huh. it's irresponsible. irresponsible irresponsible so what are you going to do you have to match the the adjective the positive adjective well, with a positive quality to its opposite. But you have to be careful because you don't have to uh, go through other adjectives or other lines. For example, here I'm going to match ups. Yeah, I made the first mistake. Okay. <laughs> so this is what you have to go right here and match irresponsible okay have you played three pachuca did you play three pachuca when you were in school yes yes, yes. Okay, yes. so this is something this is something very similar and everybody please participate um you can the, in your screen you can see a little arrow una flechita a little arrow in which you can write or do something on my screen or draw in my screen. Do you have that option? Do you have the option of a little, it's like a little pencil. Pueden no. ver. Tienen esa opción de anotar. Yeah. Ahí está, ya vimos Alfredo. Ok, Alfredo. Ok, let's go with the verb punctual. Punctual. What's its opposite? Punctual. Unpunctual. Unpunctual. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Respectful. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Yeah, that one is a little bit difficult because you have to go through through here. Yeah, to get to disrespectful. Uh huh. Who's going to do it? You have to match it. Try. 
Okay, try. Very good, Alfredo. Any other volunteer? Let's say, for example, you can do it. Sin que yo mencione el adjetivo, puede, you can match the adjective with the opposite. For example, passive. Ah, very good, Cristina. Equal and unequal. Yes. Yeah. So with equal, I'm going to go over here. Oh, I have to be very careful. Yes, and I got it. Disorganize. Disorganize. No. Disorganize and organize. And Dynamic. Ah, very good. Respectful, disrespectful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Passive and dynamic, very good. What about committed? Different ordinary. Okay, what we have this one. Indifferent. What do you what do you say in Spanish committed? Comprometido. Committed, indifferent. Honest and dishonest. Is she ordinary? ordinary. Innovative. Wow, no lo había visto como tantas cruces ahí. Aquí ni modo, vamos a, we are gonna break the law. Ah, tiene que pasar en medio la rayita. <laughs> okay, and the last one I think is. Do we have all of them? Innovative, mm. ordinary, and thankful. Thankful. Agradecido. Agradecido. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Okay, thankful goes with inappreciative. Thank you, Cristina. Yes, inappreciative and thankful. Let's see if we can make it. Ah, it's so difficult. <laughs> Anyways, okay, inappreciative. Inappreciative is a person that doesn't appreciate what this person has. Okay, very good guys, you did a good job. Okay, remember we have respectful, disrespectful, punctual, and punctual, um, dynamic, passive, passive, responsible, irresponsible. Equal and equal. Ordinary, innovative. Organized, disorganized. Organized, disorganized. Um, let's say committed, indifferent. Ordinary, 
innovative, dishonest and honest. Okay, next, next slide. Okay, in the next slide. We have more, more adjectives, okay? For example, if I say lazy, what is the opposite of lazy? You are not lazy people. Hard working. Very good, excellent. So you have to match lazy and hard working. And if you want, you can take notes in your notebook about the new vocabulary, okay? Lazy, hard working, okay. What about disorganized? Organized. Well organized, okay. What about patient? Impacting. Impatient, impatient, okay. What about discreet? Discreet. Indiscreet. Yes. Indiscreet. Indiscreet. Generous. Generous. Stingy. Stingy. Yes. Stingy. You are very stingy. Mm -hmm. you don't share what you oh. have. <laughs> oh. Okay, cooperative. Incorporative. Uncooperative. 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 Yes. Uncooperative. Polite. From root. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reminds me of the song. Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> Don't you know I'm human too? <laughs> okay, what about humble? Humble. Brown. Brown. Proud, yes. Brown. Proud. I'm gonna go this way. Yes. Very good. So please repeat after me. Discreet. 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 Uh huh. And cooperative. 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 Disorganized. Well organized. Well organized. well organized. Impatient. Patient. Patient. Polite. Patient. Rude. Rude. Lazy. Hard work. Hard working. Stingy. Generous. Yes. Very good, guys. Thank you. Let's see. Let's go to the next. What's in the next slide? In the next slide, we have some nouns matching. The previous ones were adjectives or qualities. But now here we have nouns. What's the difference? The nouns in this case are the values, okay? So we have, for example, responsibility, organization, Commitment, honesty, punctuality, innovation, respect, cooperation. Okay. Okay. So, okay, this is the values. But there is an adjective for this value. What's the adjective? Can you write it on my screen? Lo pueden escribir? Or on the chat? In the chat, please, you can also write, for example, responsibility. The adjective would be? Responsible. 
Exactly. Responsible. Responsible. Yes. Responsible. Okay. Organization. That's the value. And the adjective, the characteristic? Organized. 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 Commitment. Compromiso. That's the value. Um, committed. Committed, exactly. Um, committed. A committed person. Committed. Honesty. Honesty. Honest. 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 An, an honest person. Okay. Punctuality. Punctuality. Punctual. The person is punctual. punctual. Innovation. And the adjective is innovative. Innovative. Um, respect. Respect. Respectful, yes. And cooperation. Cooperative. Cooperative. Okay, very good. Yes, guys. So again, responsibility. Responsible. 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 Organization. Organized. Organized. Commitment. Committed. Committed. Honesty. Honest. 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 Quality. Punctual. Punctual. Innovation. Innovative. Innovative. Respect. Respectful. Respectful. Cooperation. Cooperative. 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 Good job, guys. So, yes, you learn. Did you learn new vocabulary? Can you see the difference between the noun and the adjective? Pueden ver la diferencia? Eso es el valor y este es el adjetivo, la característica, the characteristic of the person. A person is responsible, a person is organized, a person is committed, is honest, punctual, innovative, is respectful or cooperative. Okay. I think now you're ready for the next activity. Please discuss in the groups, what are the core values of your workplace? That was the homework. The core values of uh, my work are, and you say, for example, solidarity or cooperation, integrity, responsibility, uh, commitment, and let me see, honesty, responsibility, what else? Yeah, those ones are the values of my of my work. What five values do you think makes a perfect co-worker or what five characteristics? Yeah, that, that would be the, the best word. What are five characteristics do you think makes a perfect co-worker? You can say, oh, a perfect co-worker is responsible. A perfect co-worker is punctual. A perfect co-worker is um let's say uh respectful and others so i'm going to uh, make some breakout rooms for you to discuss this okay let's talk about the perfect co-worker the perfect co-worker is generous uh -huh, not a stingy <laughs> okay so um, let me create the breakout room so that you can 
practice. Can somebody tell me what you are going to do? What are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? Yes, Marco David. Uh, we make five value, values, values and five values and five adjectives to our work. For nuestro okay. trabajo. The, the five values of your work. And also you will talk about the characteristics of the perfect coworker. Okay, yeah. let's go. Right. You have to go to the breakout rooms, please. Accept the invitation. Victor David, you have to go to the breakup rooms. Sandra, you have to go to the breakup rooms, please. Guys. I am here to hear you and to help you. Eh, estamos, eh, como la primera es casi individuales, la, son los valores de cada una de nuestras empresas. Very good. Eh, Se puede utilizar de lo mismo que ha mencionado acá, porque acá es de lo mismo. Yes, of course. <laughs> Eh, se van a poner los noun values o los adjectives que se necesitan. Para ok. When you talk about the values of your company or the values of your work, you will use the nouns. And if you want to mention the characteristics of the perfect co-worker, then you're going to use an adjective. Adjective. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? What makes a perfect co-worker? A worker. <laughs> yeah. Use the structures that I that I gave you. Mm -hmm. um, what is the question? Number two. I'm sorry. My values. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Um, then... Which I'm gonna change the question. Which characteristics? Hard worker. Hard working. A hard work. Uh -huh. Hard work. Perfect co worker is uh, punctual. Is punctual. 
Very good. Responsible. Responsible. Then you say. Clean. <laughs> <Not> stinky. <laughs> That's very important. So he's a very, it's a very clean person. Good. Or a healthy person. <laughs> yeah. Healthy. Healthy person. Yeah, because that can be a little bit, you know, uncomfortable. <laughs> a stinky person. <laughs> okay, Alfredo, that's a great idea. I will be checking other groups, but Victor Navid, please, I expect that your participation with Alfredo and Carlos, please. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, separados por coma y, y después si los y los y los por ejemplo, pongamos que es honesto ¿va? coma uh -huh. después de honesto eh, respetuoso eh, teacher en las en la segunda solo vamos a poner los cinco valores de un compañero perfecto ajá yo por ejemplo you can say a perfect good worker is respectful generous um, okay. thankful, uh, punctual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But entonces anotemos los este domingo. Respeto, respetuoso. Respectful. Respecting. Respectful. 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 Punctual. Thankful. Generous. Perfect. Alfredo said that a perfect co worker is clean, it's not stingy. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, guys, continue working. Sandra, I expect that you participate with Domingo and Alba, please. Okay? Honesto, honest. 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 Uh, entonces, yo le puse honest primero, ¿y usted? Respectful. Organized. Well organized. Organized. Well organized. Well organized. Well organized. Impressive. Me dijo antes también. Teacher. Yes, Rocio. What is the difference about adjective and noun? Okay, the noun is, um, for example, in this case, uh, it's the um, it's the value, but a noun could be something, an object, a person, a thing, and the adjective describes the object or the person or the thing. For example, we can say the class, the class is the noun. The class uh -huh. is interesting. Okay. Interesting is the adjective. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The adjective describes the noun, which is the class in this context. The class okay. is, organ is interesting. The class is the noun, interesting is the adjective. And in este caso, por ejemplo, si decimos respect, what, what's the meaning of respect? Respeto. Uh -huh. That is the noun. And the adjective, what is the adjective? Well, respectful. Respectful, respetuoso. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. O sea que tenemos que poner los adjetivos en la segunda. Very good. You got it. That's right. Wow, okay. you're very intelligent and smart. That's great. <laughs> Continue working, please. I'm going to check other, other groups. Lo mismo lo tira. Lo mismo lo tira. No lo agarra. Entonces busca motivación. 
En vez de motivación. tolerante. Ajá. Teacher. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se escribe tolerante? Tolerant. Eh, si lo puede escribir, por favor. Tolerant. Tolerant. I'm going to write the other one to motivate it. NH al final, teacher. No, only NT. Tolerant. Like in Spanish, but without the, the last E. Okay. Ah, tolerant. Tolerant. Esfuerzo. Effort. Effort. Double F. E F F O R T. Effort. Okay, guys, continue working, please. I will uh, check other groups. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Pues sí, entonces, Robert. Yo llevo cuatro, pero hace falta una para las cinco y cinco. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hi, teacher. Teacher, uh, <coughs> to write the values. The core values, uh -huh. values of my, my uh -huh. empresa, uh, only write the I see, I see, and in my in the empresa. Son, voy a escribir solo las que yo he visto en la empresa. In the first question, yes, the values of your company or the values of your work. Right. And the second only write uh, a perfect co-worker is and and then write your opinion, your ideas with uh, you can use the adjectives that we just saw in the first activity. All right. And for example, you can say a perfect co-worker is punctual, is honest, is well organized, is responsible, is generous. Es right. polite. Mm -hmm. right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, uh, uh, the core value, the graphic color is organization and innovation. Organization and innovation. Innovation. Mm -hmm. mm. Only. Yes. Only two. Okay. Yeah. Let's read. What do you think? Are you about to finish, guys? Yes. Yeah, I'm finished. Okay, that's good. Yes, but why? Hello, Walter. Did you finish? Hi, teacher. Um, yo lo hice 
porque la otra chica creo que solo está de oyente, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eh, saqué las... Eh, que decía las cinco... Las cinco... Car values or characteristics. Core values. Values. Um, esas ya las saqué. Um, y el otro era... Corvalus of your workplace. Uh -huh. yeah, esos eran los valores fundamentales del, del trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. um, de eso solo me recuerdo que son teamwork y responsable. Ok. Let's go to the main room. Is everybody here now? Okay, guys, can, can, can you please raise your hand? What are the core values of your workplace? Any volunteer? Jose Matias, thank you. Okay. Uh... Number one, and the core values, the um, graphic color. Okay, is a uh, is very organization is and uh, innovation. Okay, so the values of your company are uh, organization. Yes. Innovation. Only innovation. Only two. Only two values. Okay. And which what characteristics do you think makes a perfect coworker? If you want to choose the perfect coworker, which characteristics would this person have? Uh, my perfect coworker uh, is. Well organized. Well organized. Organized. Punctual. Mm -hmm. Operative. Dynamic. 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 Responsible. Excellent, um, Matias. Okay, applauses for Matias, please. Let's give okay. him. Some applauses because of his participation. He deserves it. Okay, very good. Let's continue with the other part of the class. Mm -hmm. Who remembers the, Nancy, do you have a question or a participation? Oh, maybe she was like. Uh, no. Este, ah, sí. La levanté sin querer, teacher, pero este, voy a okay. decir la gente. Ok. Ok. The core values of our uh, responsible punctuality organic um, a perfect uh, core is on next eh, Charleron, Motivated. Charleron. Mature or motivated? Motivated. Motivated. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. Very good. Okay, guys. Let's go to the next. Okay. Add two of your company's values to the box. 
Okay, you can write here in this box two values of your company. Then rank the top five values that should be part of any company's culture. Compare your results with a partner. Tienen sus, sus handbooks. Yes. Do you have your handbook printed? Yes. yes. Tienen los manuales impresos? Yes, teacher. No. No, teacher. No. Okay. No. So we are going no, to. No, I don't, teacher. MPF. Okay. So can some. Let's, let's uh, choose which uh, could be the. Um, let's say. The top five values that should be part of any company. Which one could be the number one, the most important? Bias. Mm. Respect. Respect. Okay. The number two. Punctuality. Okay. Respect. Number three. Efficiency. 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 Responsibility. 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 Innovation. Integrity. Integrity. Innovation. <laughs> okay, let's say integrity. Let's say innovation number six. Loyalty is important. Loyalty. And service to others. <laughs> okay, thank you for your participation. Now, you have to complete the sentences below with one of the values from the box. Compare your answers with a partner. Okay, for let's, let's do it together and then you can write them in your books or in your notebooks. You can put it in your notebooks. For example, I apply punctuality when I get to, the, to my job on time. When I welcome customers to the store, I show, I show what? When I welcome, cuando les doy la bienvenida, when I welcome customers to the store, I show. Hey, the teacher. James. By respect. 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 Okay. Respect. Copy please the sentences in your notebook and complete the sentences with the values. Respect. Next. Is to accept your mistakes and their consequences. Integrity. Uh, accountability. Integrity. Mm -hmm. Efficient. Es efficient. Efficiency. Royal. Efficiency. Vamos a ver de las que están aquí. Efficiency. Oh, responsibility. Responsibility is to accept the consequences of your actions. Voy a mandar las dos pictures. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, the number four says I show. And you have to write here the value. When I finish my duties on time. Number five, if I suggest a creative solution to my team, I apply. Six, when I offer help to a customer, I demonstrate. Integrity. Service to others. Service to others. Very good. What about the number three? What would you say in number three? Bueno, ya lo habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? Sí. Responsibility. Responsibility. Yes. Number four is efficiency. Efficiency, yes. Responsibility. I show efi efficiency. Number five, if I suggest a great solution, innovation, uh -huh. innovation, when I offer help to others, I demonstrate service, service to, to others. others. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, guys, um, as homework, I will ask you to write uh, sentences using the values that are not in these examples. For example, here we have punctuality, respect, responsibility, efficiency, innovation, service to others, but there are others, for example, integrity, loyalty. Mm -hmm. And the others that we were um, uh, talking about in the first activity, like commitment, organization. Uh, tell me others. Accountability. Accountability. Honesty. Honesty, exactly. Those are very important values too. Teamwork. Teamwork, excellent. Excellent, Carlos. Okay, good. You see, the students are always, you know, they have more ideas than, than the teacher. This, this teacher is very old, doesn't, this teacher doesn't remember many things. <laughs> when it's Friday and it's almost 9 p.m. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the other part of the class. And this is, See? Ta-da! My computer is so slow, like me. Don't be like my computer, please. Okay, so here we have a conversation. In this conversation, uh, they are talking about their responsibilities in their organization, okay, or in their company. So let's listen to it. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. 
Oh, thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, so if you notice, they are talking about their responsibilities. For example, Jessica says that she and her department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. She is the industrial engineer, okay? But uh, Roxana uh, will be responsible to the maintenance chief, okay? Mm -hmm. Not to Jessica. So what are you going to do right now? You are going to practice the conversation with a partner, okay? So let me put you into the breakout room so that you can practice the conversation, but it's almost time to take the attendance. So let me take the attendance first, and then um, you, you join the, the breakout rooms, okay? So let me take the attendance. Alba de Nora Vides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Alexander Rodas. Present. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemus. Present. Karina Yamilet Espinosa. Karina. Present teacher. Marco David Velázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Present. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Maideli Yudi, Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Present. Rocío Maritza. Present. Maito Kaya. A <laughs> beautiful name. I'm sorry? A beautiful name. Oh, yes, it is, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Salvador Edgardo Escobar. Sandra y Emilia Velázquez. Present. Victor David Salazar. Present. Okay. Walter Daniel González. Present. William Eduardo. He's, uh, he, he sent me a message that he was going to be like, oyente. Okay, so um, do you have the, the picture of the present of the slide in your WhatsApp group? Because I'm going to create the rooms and you are going to practice the conversation with your classmates. Tell me, Rocio. Can you add me uh, the group of WhatsApp? Um, there is a there is a link. Okay. That you can use to join the group. Ah, okay. In the email. Yes, because I'm not the administrator of the group. Ah, uh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you for understanding, guys. Let's go to the groups. William, please go to room six.
Acá estoy todavía. Comencemos. Ah, okay. um, ya lo hicieron ustedes, ya practicaron ustedes. Eh, sí, comenzando estábamos, pero se desconectó el compañero. Lo mandé ah, a otra entonces... sala. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ah. <risa> Okay. It's because another person was <laughs> alone. <laughs> I'm oh, so sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, but another person was alone, so I needed someone to practice with that person. So please, now you have a partner. <laughs> you can practice. Okay. 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 Cool. Uh, Comienzo yo. Okay. Sí. Hi, Roxana. Welcome no, to don't say Roxana. He's Victor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <My> hi, Victor. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. Victor. <laughs> hi, Victor. Welcome to Ray. Somos, flexi somos flexibles. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, Roxana ni Jessica. Uh -huh. Entonces le voy a decir su nombre. En la conversación vamos a meter su nombre. Y este Fátima, sí. Hi Domingo. Well, yes, you can call me. As my name, Fátima. Hi Domingo. Welcome to Red. My name is Fátima. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Fátima. Nice, nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see you are the big part of the maintenance, the maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Maintenance department work. I be responsible to you. Great. Our department. My name is Jessica. I am the I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety. Teacher, justo en usted estamos pensando. <laughs> okay. Hay palabras. Palabras que no se entienden. How, how do you say uh, night Nancy? Oh, how do you pronounce it? How, you pronounce it maintenance. 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 Uh, how do you say sa safety? Así se escribe safety. safety, pero no sé cómo. Safety. 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 How do you say a uh, guitar? Can you repeat, please? How do you say Gecta? Esa sería how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Ah, perdón. How do you pronounce? Pero no entiendo cuál palabra es. Eh, permítame. Ya le digo. Es la que está eh, donde habla la tercera vez Jessica en la primera oración. Great. Get our department work together. 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 Okay, here together. You, can, you can listen to the pronunciation of maintenance. 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 Night man. Okay, uh -huh. teacher. 
Did you already practice the conversation? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay, any difficult word? Mm, no, yes. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for participating, guys. Can I have two volunteers to uh, perform or role play the conversation in front of the class? Volunteers or victims? Victims. <laughs> okay, Marco. <laughs> I'm the first victim. Okay, Marco and Matias. Please don't say hi, Roxana. Say hi, Marco. Hi, Matias. Okay? Right. Right. Okay. Matias, I am Jessica Beth, but I am Marco, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, hi, uh -huh. Matias. Welcome to Rex. My name is Marco. I am the industry safari engineer. 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 Uh, thank, Marco. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safe, safety of, of the plant. I see. It'll be part of the maintenance. Maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Right. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Marco. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Good job. I know there were some difficult words in this conversation. For example, safety. Please repeat by for yourself. Safety. 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 Maintenance. 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 I sent a link um, to two links where you can. I'll listen to the pronunciation of this word, okay? Um, chief, maintenance chief, maintenance okay? Chief. Any other word? Engineer, Engineer. department, it's not department, not department, department. Uh, in, charge. in charge, in charge of, in charge of. 
in charge. So. Thank you so much. Let's go to right. the questions, okay? Discuss the answers to the questions below. Compare your answers with another pair. Please, um, I would like, well, let's discuss the question. Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? According to the conversation, who is the person responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel? Is Jessica. it Jessica or Roxana? Jessica. 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 Jessica, exactly. Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Roxana. Who is in charge of that? Roxana. Roxana. Oh, did I get the conversation? She says. Maintaining chief. Our department. Our uh, Jessica. department Jessica. work together, Jessica. but the man, the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Mm. Roxana. ¿Quién está a cargo de dirigir el personal de mantenimiento? Roxana va a ser parte del personal de, 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 ajá, del, del departamento de mantenimiento. Pero ¿quién es el encargado? ¿Quién es el responsable de ese departamento? Floor manager, un hombre. Rex, the maintaining chief. Exactly, the maintenance chief. Chief is like jefe or superior. Okay. So, yes, Fatima, thank you. It's the maintenance chief. Okay. The, we don't know the name. We don't know the name, but we know the position. Okay, so who is Roxana responsible to? And she's responsible. The word to her. To oh, her. My training chief. My exactly, department. again. Roxana is responsible to the maintenance chief, okay? Now look at the organizational chart. Aquí tenemos un, un cuadro, organi un, un cartel organizativo. Okay, la, the organizational chart. Who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? Es decir, the superior person above them. Floor manager. The floor manager, exactly, the floor manager. So the safety engineer and the maintenance, maintenance chief are responsible to the floor manager, okay? The floor manager. Mm -hmm. Do you have this organizational chart in your company? Yes. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's good because um, in the next, in the other activities, you will create that, the, the chart from your company. Okay, so the grammar point of today's class is this, the verb ing plus prepositions, the prepositions for, of, or to. So we use ing, after these prepositions, okay? So look at the questions in exercise three and complete the statement below. You use a verb plus ing after ING. prepositions. Entonces usamos un ing form después de una preposición like for or of in expressions as be responsible for be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, or dedicated to. Let's make some examples. I'm in charge of 
preparing the presentation. So after the preposition of, I will use the verb in the ing form, okay? I'm in charge of preparing the presentations for every class. Next example, are you committed to continuing this adventure of learning English? Are you committed to continuing this adventure? Yes, teacher, I am. I am very committed, okay? That's why I'm here every single class. Mm -hmm. Ok, ¿estás comprometido a continuar esta aventura? Yes, I am. Ok, you're responsible for cleaning your own clothes and linings. Ok, <laughs> yes, because we are all adults. So you're responsible for cleaning your own clothes and linings. If you still live with your mother, yeah, she should tell you that, that you are responsible for cleaning your own clothes. Ok. <laughs> So as you can see after the preposition, what is the preposition here? Continue. For. And then oh, I will oh, use the for ing clean. form. Cleaning. For cleaning. Governments, the private sector, communities, and families must be accountable or responsible for what? Protecting the rights of women and girls. Uh -huh. So, el gobierno, el sector privado, las comunidades y familias deben ser responsables de proteger los derechos de las mujeres y las niñas. Okay. Do I sound different in Spanish? That's why my students say, teacher, you sound different when you speak Spanish. <laughs> and I tell them, that's why I prefer to speak English. Okay, now look at these other uh, box to say who you report to, para decir a quien usted le reporta, a quien usted le da cuentas. You have to use be responsible to, be accountable to. Uh -huh. Entonces, para decir a quién le da usted cuentas, va a usar la preposición to. To, exactly. Que es a o para. para. And to talk about your duties or responsibilities, use be responsible for be in charge of or be accountable for okay and then the ing form of the verb okay easy right easy peasy okay here we have a okay. practice in this practice, you have to complete the questions below with the appropriate verb form. Then read the information in Rex organizational chart to answer the questions and check answers with a partner. So over here in number one, we have who is responsible for, what is the correct form of the verb? For supervising. Supervising, excellent. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Number two, mm. who is in charge of checking, checking the quality of the, the products? Quality of products. Number three, who is responsible for repairing, repairing the problems repairing. in the machines? Number four, who is accountable for Selling. Selling the products, mm -hmm. vender los productos. Who is the accountable for that? Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? ¿Quién está encargado de dar soporte o de ayudar a los ensambladores? And number six, who is accountable for managing? Managing the operation. Please copy this in your notebooks. Mm -hmm. 
And then in the break rooms, you are going to ask and answer the questions with a partner. For example, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Let me see machine operators, the supervisor. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? According to the chart, the person in charge of checking the quality of the products is the quality, quality control, control inspector. inspector. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting, right? So I'm going to share with you and the group the, the chart and also the questions. Maintenance professional. Maintenance. 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 Okay, guys, please. Are you ready to discuss with your classmates? Yes. Okay. Go, practice. ¿Qué quería que hiciera que hagamos en el, en el grupo? En el grupo van a contestar las preguntas, van a decir quién es el que está a cargo de. Ya, Nancy is waiting for you, Matías. Yes, Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. You just came. La la tarde, Mauricio. Hi, teacher. Hello, Mauricio. How are you? Uh, good. Really? Are you sure? What? Are you sure? Estás seguro? Yes. Ok. Yes. Va, lo voy a asignar a un grupo para que ahí le expliquen y, a, y lo que están haciendo. Ok, teacher. De acuerdo. Ay, perdón. Aquí lo voy a asignar. Ok, go ahead. Pero hay que leerlo en el... Por ejemplo, en la primera. Supervise. Ajá, sería, who is responsible for supervising? Supervising the machine operation. Uh -huh. Supervisor. El supervisor. Permítame que casi no leo. Ah, machine operator. Sí, supervisor. Entonces dice, dice el encargado, ¿quién es responsable? El machine operator. De acuerdo al organigrama. El encargado de supervisar a los operadores de la maquinaria. Uh, 
sería supervisor. Okay, but the purpose of the activity is that you practice English. Say the words, say the questions in English, please. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Charge of supervising. Supervise. Who is responsible for repeating the problems of the machine? Yeah. Yeah. This is the. This is. Is the contable for the product? Vamos a poner la que corresponde, verdad? Yes, you ask the question in English. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Then you look at the organigramma or the organizational chart and identify the person in charge. Uh -huh. Um. La primera, the supervisor, the second, the quality control inspector, number three, maintenance personnel. Quality control inspector. de supervisar las máquinas ah uh, oh no perdón de supervisar a los operadores de las máquinas en el uh, supervisor supervisor uh -huh. eh, en el número 5 tenemos duda de hecho who is in charge of assisting the ensemblers the assemblers. The, assemblers. the supervisor. The supervisor. Otra vez. Es lo mismo que el primero. Ya, ahí ahí se ven, bueno, casi no se ve bien, pero más o menos. Una calidad de la foto. Pero está en la última. En los últimos cuadritos, el segundo dice assemblers y arriba assemblers. dice supervisor. ¿Ok? Ok. Assembler y arriba. Tendríamos que, que arreglarlo. Teacher, one, one question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who is responsible for supervising the machine operator. Eh, esa es la pregunta que está diciendo que quién es, el quién es el responsable de supervisar el, al operador de la máquina. Los operadores de las máquinas, sí. La mitad me hace, una esquinita me hace. Entonces la respuesta sería supervisor, solo supervisor. Supervisor, the supervisor, yes. The supervisor. Okay. Supervision. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Un, yes. un, 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 una crítica constructiva. Claro, dígame. Bueno, eh, dígale a los alumnos que tomen screenshot. Cada quien. Porque cuando usted toma una foto y la manda, casi no se, no se puede leer muy bien las imágenes. Entonces, lo, entonces lo mejor es de que usted le diga a los alumnos, tomen screenshot para que ellos tomen cada quien su screenshot y de, le da el, el tiempecito y les pregunta si ya le tomaron screenshot para que ellos ya, ya usted no le toca estarlo tomando la foto a la pantalla porque la verdad es que cuesta leerlo. O sea, yo le digo, no por mí, porque yo lo, lo descargué, yo, lo, yo le imprimo la página que voy a ocupar en el momento, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. pero... Ajá, pero ahí teníamos un problema que ella no alcanzaba a leerlo por eso, porque no... No se alcanzaba a leer. Ok. I'm sorry, I don't have a good cell phone. I'm poor. <ríe> sí, sí. 
Sí, no, pero, pero so thank sí, you for me... your suggestion. Thank okay. you. Um, you know what? In the other group, what I used to do is that I used to send the presentation before the class so that everybody has the presentation in their um in their cell phone the whole mm -hmm. presentation so mm -hmm. i didn't have to take pictures for the students because mm -hmm. they already have the presentation but sometimes some students don't have like the the program or the application to open it mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but, I, but thank you i will i think that that can work for us to okay. take up everybody can take like a picture or a screenshot a screenshot and yeah the, the thing is that if you uh, if you connect from your cell phone right you have to take a screenshot uh -huh. y no también los de computadora porque yo en computadora estoy ah okay y, y hay un botón que de un solo le da para exactly. solo aprieta y, y de un solo uh -huh. le da la captura de pantalla right print the screen uh -huh. Uh -huh. Print the screen okay. thank you so much matías okay <laughs> How was the activity, guys? Was it um, difficult, challenging, or very easy? Challenging, challenging difficult, or very easy? Very easy, easy teacher. Very easy. <laughs> OK, OK, Rocio. You are going to answer the first question. Well, actually. Yeah, the first one. You ask the question to another partner, please. You choose the person. Okay, Fatima. Okay. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operator? Uh, the supervisors. Correct. Now, Fatima, you ask question number two to another classmate. Okay, let me choose one. Uh, Carlos or Alberto. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? Uh, the quality control inspector. Okay. Correct. Now, Carlos, please choose a victim. Choose your victim. <laughs> Jose Matias. <laughs> Ask him the question. Jose Matias. Okay. Um, what who is responsible? Who, who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machine? Mm. Maybe, uh, Maintenance chef or maintenance. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Assembler. Teacher? Assembler? Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machine? Responsible. <coughs> Tienes que pasar el carro para la mano. Sería el mechanic, pero no lo veo, dicho. The maintenance chief, along with the supervisor, right? Because first you have to tell your supervisor, and the supervisor has to ask for support to the maintenance chief. Okay, number four, Matias, choose your victim. Okay. Eh, <laughs> bueno, ya sabe para quién va. <laughs> okay. Okay, bueno. Who is 
accountable for selling the product? The sales department. The sales department. Excellent. Okay, Alfredo, choose your victim. Okay, Marlon. Who is in charge of assisting the assembler, assemblers? Well, in fact, it's the only one that I that I don't have the chart. I don't see very well the chart. Okay, it's the supervisor. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay, Marlon, can you please choose your victim? Okay, I think it will be Karina. Okay. Uh, to is a contable for a manager, a good girl operation. Um, Marlon tenía que hacer la pregunta bien. I, but I think uh, it, what, what happened to Matt? Oh, the thing is that I think there's a there's noise in his house. <laughs> yeah, but who is accountable for managing the whole operation? Who is the superior person, the top person in the company? General manager. The general manager, exactly. Okay. Do you have any question? No teacher. We are about to finish the class. Don't fall asleep, please. Don't fall asleep. Teacher. <laughs> I know you're tired. I am tired too. <laughs> teacher. Uh, I, the, I have different the number three. The, who is responsible for repay the problem of the machines? We put maintenance personnel because is who repair the machines. The machines. The yes, machines. you're right. You are right. Yeah, I when I take the picture, it's difficult to see, right? I think I need glasses too. Uh, Matias gave me a recommendation and maybe something, I don't know, what do you think about that? Is to, that everybody can take its own picture or a screenshot because I think that my camera is no high quality or maybe the light here is not so good. <laughs> That's why it's so difficult to see even for me. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, let's continue with the presentation today. Let's see. Okay, your turn. Create a basic organizational chart about your company. Describe how you and your department relate to the other departments. Discuss your responsibilities and who you report to. So the first thing, lo primero que van a hacer es create your organigramma. Okay, create your organizational chart about your company or your workplace. It doesn't have to be, you know, very, very, um, what's that word, elaborated. Uh, it says basic, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is individually. Work individually and in your notebook create the organizational chart about your company, okay? Please. And please let me go for water because I, I forgot to bring my bottle of water. So while you create it, I'll go for my bottle of water, okay? Could you give me permission? Yes, sure. <laughs> you can. I thank you so much.
teacher? Yes. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice departamento de acabado? Mm. Mm. Ok. Vaya, le voy a decir, voy a explicar. Es el área donde se finaliza, se arma todo lo que hace. Eh, o sea, en, u, u, eh, como es una es la bomba, es una cadena. Lo que hace el área de offset, eh, las mujeres lo terminan y arman el libro. Entonces le llaman el departamento de acabado. Uh, the finishing department. Eh, pegan, los pegan los libros. Los, eh, arman la, los folders, digamos. Uh -huh. folder. Pero esa ya es la última fase, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, es lo último. Ah, pues sí. Y de ahí se empaca y se manda. Ah, pues sí, sería el finishing, finishing department. Okay. Finishing department. Ok. Hey guys, what are you going to do on your vacation? Are you going to rest? What are you going to work? We are going to try to take a work. I'm going to work. You're going to work? Okay. <laughs> yes, we, we only have one day. Oh, oh. Friday. Next Friday or, or Thursday? Yes, yes, Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. Friday. But you don't work on yes. Saturdays? Yes. Or do you? No. No. Okay, so you work from Monday work. to Friday. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I usually work from Monday to Fridays, but I will have to work tomorrow because there's an activity in the institution, so oh, I have to go. Sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you know, Saturday and but, Sunday. But are you going to have a holiday next week? Yeah, that's a good thing. That the whole week it's is vacation for us. Yeah, we are not going to oh, work for you. Also for us too, right? Yeah, oh, for you too. You're really? going to rest. We don't, oh. Yeah, you won't have class. There's no <laughs> class. Okay. The whole week. I will see you until Monday the ninth. Uh huh. Monday. Okay. August 9th. Mm -hmm. So good for you. You're going to have um, a week off. Okay. Are you finished? Yes. Because we are running out of time. Good. So the next step is that you are going to talk about your responsibilities. And who are you responsible to? For example, teacher, what, do you, what are you responsible for? I'm responsible for preparing and delivering the class, taking the attendance three times during the class, and checking homework. Teacher, who are you responsible to? Who is your superior, your boss? <laughs> Okay, I'm responsible to Elena Mendez. Oh, I forgot to write here. Who is in charge of summarizing and administrating the class groups? How does your department relate to other departments? Well, my department, I think is the teacher, the teacher's staff <laughs> is related to the department of administration in the way that we uh, we have to deliver the classes, but is the um, administration and computer department who is in charge of uh, creating the WhatsApp groups, enrolling the students, and giving the, the information for, for you and for me too. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's what you have to do. Let's talk about your responsibilities, okay? I will give you some minutes to 
to answer the questions in your notebooks. And also, if you want to share, you can also do it uh, in the chat. Or would you like to do it in groups? What do you prefer? Chat. Okay, yes, we haven't used the chat today so much, so it's okay. I will read your chats. Chat. Okay. Okay, so Matias is responsible for cutting and printing the paper. Yes. Okay. Any other person? Other person. Mm. My boss. Mm. I'm responsible for uh -huh, repair sewing machines. What's the mistake here? Repairing, remember? It has to be in the ING form. Repairing, repairing. I'm responsible for repairing sewing machines. I'm responsible of are responsible of the financial de department. I'm responsible, Nancy. No, uh, Christina, Roxana. I'm responsible of the financial department. Are you the supervisor? Cristina? Sí, Supervise, okay. Yeah. Alfredo yes. says, what are you responsible for? I'm responsible for supervising all activities that the that technicians do. Excellent. I'm responsible for human resources at the moment. Ah, okay. So I'm responsible for attending Attending the human resources department. Okay, Marco David is a mechanic. Responsible for electronic and electrical maintenance. Okay, try to use an, uh, an ING verb. Okay, I'm responsible for supervising the financial department. I'm responsible for the accountant purchasing materials. Excellent. Okay. 
My boss is responsible for graphic design department, offset department, and finishing department. Okay. <laughs> graphic design. Okay, guys, oh. that's great. Okay. I'm responsible for the administration of the pharmacy, okay? Or I am responsible for, or I'm responsible of administrating the pharmacy. I'm responsible for selling, for selling chemical products. Okay, selling chemical products. Wow. Interesting. It's nice to know about you. For Domingo. Okay. I am sorry. My keyboard. This is crazy. <laughs> Victor, I am the owner. I don't have a boss. Yes, but what is your responsibility? You can say I am responsible of managing my own company or my own business. Okay, because you are the boss. Very good, guys. Six, we only have three minutes to finish the class and I need to take the attendance. Right? So please say present or say here. Alba de Noravides? And please turn on your camera, guys. Present. Alfredo Alexander? Present. Actually, guys, the homework will be that you have to post. You have to post uh, the questions the answers of these questions in the forum, in online, in the online um, web, okay? Go to the digital learning platform of English Corporativo and post your answers to the questions discussed previously in the class task stage. So what you wrote on the chat, you are going to put it in the discussion forum, okay? That's okay. the homework. ¿Y la otra tarea cuál era? Mission and vision of my work. Ah, uh -huh. what's the mission and the vision of your company? Eh, no hay, no hay, no tienen misión ni visión. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok, sí, pero ahora les dejé otra tarea también. La de escribir oraciones usando los, <laughs> los values. <laughs> Eso es para mañana. No, oh, para ahora. Era. Para el lunes. De vacaciones. De vacaciones. After vacation. Quieren, quieren recibir clases mañana. Tito? No, please, no. It's my day off. Let me, let me sleep. No, no. Eso Teacher. está en la plataforma, en la parte. Son responsables que no me dejan hasta el sábado y el domingo quieren recibir clases. Eso está en la plataforma en la parte de abajo después de la videoconferencia. Ahí, es donde sí, ahí hay un teléfono. forum ajá, y ahí van a postear ustedes eso que acaban de escribir en el chat. Ya practicaron, ya los corregí, ahora ya lo pueden poner bien bonito. Ok, I want to continue uh, taking the tennis. I'm sorry, guys. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Roxana. Present. Domingo. Present. Fátima. Present. Jose Matías. Present. Karina. 
Present. Marco David. Present. Marlon Alberto. Present. Mauricio Majano. Present. Maydeni Yudina. Nancy Lisset. Present. Rocío Maritza. Present. Salvador Edgardo. Sandra Yamilet. Present. Víctor David. Present. Walter Daniel. Present. And William. Ah, William dijo que iba a estar de oyente, pero ya no lo veo. Ok, guys. Please enjoy your vacation. Relax and practice your English as much as you can. Hey, we see a beautiful baby next to Rocío. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's your name? Ariana. Ariana, wow, and she understands English. That's great. I'm learning too. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good night. Rest well and see you after vacation. If you drive, don't drink. And if you drink, don't drive. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to stay today. With okay. Okay. Alfredo Alexander Rodas, okay? So please, the others. Goodbye. Sure. No, no me Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Good night. 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 Good Remember that. I want to see ah, you here bien. safe and sound next, uh, the next, I mean, after the next week. <laughs> safe and sound, please. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Alfredo, I'm all yours. This 10 minute session is for you to, to tell me <clears throat> how I can help you. But Fatima is there. Fatima, bye. <laughs> okay, how can I help you? No sé. Entonces, hasta ahorita entendí todo. Okay, so everything was right. This this class. Okay. Um, do you have any any suggestion for my classes? No. Tal vez solamente que aún todavía creo que la mayoría no hablamos tan rápido o nos cuesta todavía hablar bastante. Entonces, no, de verdad, así poco a poco háblenos a veces en español porque si sí nos cuesta <ríe> y nos quedamos en la luna varios. Pero yo veo que le están agarrando. Sí, 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 pero algunas veces sí nos quedamos, ¿qué dijo? Y entonces es donde no hayamos que contestar y mejor nos quedamos callados todos. Ah, ok. Thank you for that suggestion. I'm going to take it into account. <laughs> Only that. Es que a veces los estoy molestando, pero qué bueno que no me entiendan. Son bromas. Es que hay cosas que sí se entienden, pero algunas veces nos quedamos en algún. Es normal, porque están apenas en el módulo 3. Es normal. Sí, es normal, ¿verdad? Que, que algunas cosas no las van a entender al 100%, pero lo bueno es que se van acostumbrando a, a escuchar en inglés, ¿verdad? Y a ir tratando, ¿verdad? De, de entender. entender. Ajá. Y así prestan más atención también, porque tengo que poner atención que está diciendo la teacher. ¿Verdad? Sí, es cierto. Entonces, sí quizás 
a veces se me va la onda y hablo muy rápido. En eso sí estoy de acuerdo. Creo que de hecho y ayer... Y nos quedamos perdidos. Yo creo que de hecho ayer lo mismo me dijo Alba. Ay, teacher, habla muy rápido, me dijo. <risa> Entonces sí, creo que sí tenía razón. Entonces hoy me esforcé un poco, ¿verdad? Por hablar menos rápido. Pero sí, lo voy a... Igual, cuando tengan así como que no entienden, puede decirme, teacher, can you repeat, please? Ok. Pues. Or I don't understand. Ahí en el chat lo pueden poner, vaya, si le da pena decirlo en el chat. Ahí. Sí. Easier. Uh -huh. eh, ya no, no... Perdón, el lunes no nos conectamos, ¿verdad? Sino que está el siguiente. Sí, hasta después de la vacación. Excelente. Voy a descansar. Sí, va a descansar. Eh, Algo más que le iba a preguntar. Ya, ahora, como usted no me quiere preguntar a mí, yo le voy a preguntar. Permítame, quiero lo que le iba a preguntar. Ay, no lo olvidé. Ya es el sueño, ¿verdad, Alfredo? Sí, ya es el sueño. Ok, I'm going to ask you some questions in English for you to practice. Ok. How do you pronounce um, the words that are here? Bueno, como vimos, vimos en la presentación unos adjetivos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vale, entonces lo que voy a hacer es que usted me lo va a pronunciar. Ok. Uy, mire, se detuvo. Dígame. Y tenemos que cubrir los 10 minutos. Lo siento. <risa> vale, entonces mire, vamos a ver. Where are they? They are here. Vale. Respectful. Pacific. Disorganized. Punctual. 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 Dishonest, responsible, 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 mm -hmm. indifferent, innovative, innovative or innovative, 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 okay, awesome. innovative. Inappreciative. Inappreciative. Innovative. Oh, innovative. It's innovative. 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 Mm -hmm. Indifferent. In the irrespectful. Disrespectful. Honest. Com committed. 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 That's the same thing. Responsible. Dynamic. Organized. Ordinary. Unequal. 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 Un cooperative. Humble. Humble. Acera. Humble, yes. Disorganized. Polite. But patient. 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 Her working, cooperative, generous, indiscreet, well organized, rude, stingy, lazy. Okay. Um. Can you can you describe? One of your real co-workers, 
Tell oh. me his name, his responsibilities, and his characteristics. Uh, his characteristic is uh, organized, cooperative, organized, cooperative, uh, healthy. I'm not sorry? Stinky. Healthy, not stinky. Healthy. <laughs> He's a clean and, person. A clean person. And what's the other question? Oh, what's his name or her name? Ah, uh, what's the name of P? Yes, of your partner. Uh, Francisco. Okay, so Francisco is healthy, clean, yes. organized. Organized. Okay, now tell me about negative characteristics that maybe are here. He's stingy. He's stingy. stingy. <laughs> so Very he's stingy. not he's not generous. No. no. <laughs> okay. He's impassive. Impatient. Impatient. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is he punctual? Yes, very punctual. Okay, what about you? I am, I am a cooperative. You are a cooperative general. person? Yes. Okay. Well organized. Well organized. Organized. And hardworking. And hardworking. Okay, where do you work? Ingenio La Cabaña. I'm sorry? Ingenio La Cabaña. Ah, really? Where, yes. where you make sugar? Yes, sugar um, and alcohol. And alcohol. <gasps> so you have some discounts. <laughs> no, no nos hacen descuento. <laughs> okay, Alfredo. Well, I have a good time with you. I don't know if you have any other question. Or doubt? No, no, no. Okay, so, um, well, so we are going to finish the session here. It was a pleasure and I hope that you enjoy your vacation with your family so much. Okay? Thank you. Sweet dreams. See you next, Dream. the next, next. See you the next month. <laughs> the next month next? yeah julio is going <laughs> julio is leaving <laughs> okay okay julio is leaving i know those those memes are very funny okay bye, bye.